In recent decades, some have wondered if DNA could be used to prove the origin of Book of Mormon peoples. But so far, genetic studies have not found a clear connection between Native Americans and Middle Easterners of Lehi's day. Some claim that this absence of evidence disproves the Book of Mormon. But, as several geneticists have pointed out, population genetic studies are not that simple. These studies face real challenges. First, we can only speculate about what genetic markers might identify Lehi's descendants because we don't fully know how much genetics have varied in the Middle East over the last 2,600 years. Thus, we do not know what Lehi's DNA would have looked like. And without that starting place, it's difficult to make conclusive comparisons between past and modern populations. Second, there is the problem that not all ancestors can be identified through DNA after even a few generations. This is because there are two types of DNA used in most population studies, one being the Y chromosome from the father or the mitochondrial DNA from the mother, and the other being autosomal DNA. Through the Y chromosome and mitochondrial DNA, only the two outermost lines of a family tree can be studied. If one goes back just 10 generations, they will find 1,024 eighth great-grandparents, but only two of them would be represented either with the Y chromosome or the mitochondrial DNA. Additionally, though it can vary greatly, scientists estimate that the average person has autosomal DNA from only about 12% of those 1,024 ancestors. This can be seen in a recent study which found that people living in Iceland today have ancestors from just 300 years ago who could not be detected using genetic markers. Because of these limitations, it is highly unlikely that we will be able to identify any specific Book of Mormon individual's DNA about 2,600 years and 100 generations later. The third challenge is that considerable genetic information is lost at a rapid rate during times of warfare, natural disasters, and disease, such as those documented in the Book of Mormon. Additionally, current estimates indicate that, depending on the region, anywhere from 70 to 90 percent of the native inhabitants of the Americas were killed with the arrival of European settlers. This significantly reduces the genetic diversity available in modern studies based on living populations. Though advances in DNA research are exciting and fascinating, the limitations are simply too severe to make any scientific case for or against the Book of Mormon. As one LDS genetic scientist said, it would be the pinnacle of foolishness to base one's testimony of the Book of Mormon on the results of a DNA analysis. And now you know why.